Welcome to this Radar Opus introduction tutorial. Radar Opus works on Macs and on Windows. And you will see that some of these tutorial videos will be recorded on a Windows computer and some on a Mac. Okay, let's quickly start. I double click here on the Radar Opus icon to start the software. Because in many countries it's now mandatory to have all software which contain patient information protected, you can create an account and have your information protected. It is not mandatory. If you do not create an account within 30 days, it will be skipped. Okay, let's log in and continue. Let's just quickly give an overview. So in the left upper corner, you see a button called Repertories. If I click on it, a table of contents opens with all the documents with a repertory structure. So real repertories, and depending on your package, you can also have, for example, concepts and families. So next to it, there is an item called References. And References contains a large amount of documents with a different structure. So real Materia Medica, keynotes, journals, philosophy, uh, dictionaries, and such. Also make sure that you have the software set with the correct default settings, which are most optimal for your country. So for example, I myself here have a table of contents which shows different uh, flags, different items, because I have in my package several languages. So make sure that you show in your table of contents all languages you have. And the same with repertories. Best is just to show all languages and then any item you have will show up in the table of contents. Let's just first clean up everything. I close here the welcome window and the question, do you want to see it again? I say no. Then let me close here this repertory and now I start from scratch. So in the left upper corner, you click on repertories and here you see the list of these repertories you have in your package. So for example, if I click here on the original Kent, I open at the right side, the original Kent. And you see here on the top, on the title, uh, English Kent. And if I want to open now another repertory, so for example here, Schroen's Synthesis Treasure Edition 2009, I single click on it. And at the right side, you will see that it is opened on top of the original Kent. So here in the top, you see the title Synthesis Treasure Edition. Now if you go to the right, you see a little triangle. If you click on it, you see that the original Kent is at the background and Synthesis here is at the foreground. So let me click here on Kent and the Kent comes to the top. And let me put Synthesis again back at the top and now I have Synthesis. So for old radar users, the old radar classic, this would be your radar program. Now in the left upper corner, I click on the second icon called References. And for old radar users, you could say this is the encyclopedia. Now, if I click here on a document, so let me click here on, let's say I have here the English Burke. At the right side, you see now a new tab opened. You will see in the tab, the title, Pocketbook Manual of Burke. And you see there's no triangle. So let me open another one. So for example here, Allen Materia Medica of some nozodes. I single click on it. And at the right side, it opens on top of the Burke. You see here in the tab, the Materia Medica of some important nozodes of Allen. And the little triangle indicates that there are more documents open. So you can switch now here between your repertory and the Materia Medica by clicking on these tabs. There are also many hotkeys which you can use. I will not mention all these in these tutorial videos, but for example here, let me show this. Uh, with Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, you can switch between the repertory, references, and a patient file. So these are the 
two tabs, one a tab with a repertory, one a tab of your references. And as I mentioned before, the references contains a large amount of different types of documents. Then the third icon here is the patient file. And this will show you the list of all your patients you have. Now in Radar Opus, there are two methods to save your cases, your, your clipboards. Uh, one is similar like an old method for the Radar Classic users that you just save and recall the clipboards. And there's a method where you use the patient file. Both I will explain later in detail. Then I have here a list of remedies and I have here a list of all families. So let's concentrate here on these two buttons, the repertories and references in the next tutorial video.